This video will show how to correctly assemble and use a nebulizer to deliver saline or drugs. It will then show an example of a consultation in which inhaler technique is explained to a patient. This is a typical nebulizer which might be found on the wards. It has two main components, the compressor and the nebulizer chamber, and can be used with either a mask or a mouthpiece. As with any procedure, introduce yourself, correctly identify your patient, explain what you're going to do and gain consent. Check the label and expiry date of the saline to be used. Then, open the nebulizer chamber and deposit the saline. Drugs, such as salbutamol, are also added in this way. Turn on the nebulizer and secure the mask in place. A good fit is essential to ensure that vapour does not irritate the patient's eyes. If the patient requires oxygen therapy, the nebulizer chamber and mask can be directly connected to the oxygen outlet for simultaneous delivery of oxygen and nebulized medication. The oxygen flow rate should be between 6 and 8 litres a minute. Inhalers come in many varieties. These include metered dose inhalers, often abbreviated to MDI, and dry powder inhalers. This video focuses on correct explanation of MDI technique, both with and without a spacer device. For other inhalers, see the manufacturer's instructions. As before, introduce yourself, correctly identify your patient, explain what you're going to do and gain consent. An explanation should always begin by assessing the patient's current understanding, and in this case, current technique. However, for this video, we shall assume that the patient has no knowledge of using an MDI. MDIs can be used either alone or in combination with a spacer device. So now I'll explain how to use your inhaler. So the first thing to do is sit up nice and straight, take the cap off the inhaler and just check that the mouthpiece is clean. Give it a little shake and then make sure that you're holding the inhaler with your thumb at the base and a finger on top. So now in a moment what I'd like to do is take a breath out and then place the mouthpiece in your mouth between your teeth but don't bite down uh, and form a nice seal with your lips. Then Start to take in a slow, deep breath. Release the medication by pressing the top of the inhaler and continue that breath slowly and steadily until your lungs are completely full of air. Could you try that now for me? Very good. So now hold that for 10 seconds. At this point, ask your patient to take another dose, checking for a correct technique. Check that no mist escapes from the patient's mouth. Using this technique requires considerable coordination and is therefore ineffective in approximately 30% of patients. In these circumstances, a spacer device is essential. Spacers, such as this aero chamber, reduce the need for coordination by holding the aerosolized medication within a chamber. They may be used with either a single breath or multiple breath technique. OK, so now I'm going to explain how to use your aero chamber. And so this is very similar to what we just did. So just as before, make sure you're sitting up nice and straight. Take the cap off both the inhaler and the spacer. Slot the inhaler into the spacer. And then give the whole thing a shake sort of four or five times. OK, now just as before, take a breath out. Put the mouthpiece into your mouth, between your teeth, but not biting it making sure that you've got a nice seal around the mouthpiece with your lips. Then start to take in a slow, steady breath, release the medication, and continue that breath until your lungs are completely full. Can you try that now for me? And then hold that for 10 seconds. Okay, very good. And so the good thing about this device is that it'll make a whistling sound if you're breathing in too quickly. If you don't want to take just one long breath, instead you can take two to three normal breaths if you prefer. And make sure that you keep your aero chamber nice and clean uh, as the instructions Ask your patient to take another dose to check their technique and ask if they have any questions. Thank your patient and document what you've done in the patient's notes.